डॉक्टर मिश्र इज कमिंग फॉर द सेकेंड टाइम ही टू के क्लास ऑन फिफ्थ में on social ferment in northern india with reference to buddhism to tell about dr misra again he is a brilliant researcher after his mphil and phd from jnu he delved deep into research and worked on buddhist network in medieval orissa with its oceanic contacts then he had published a book on vajrayana buddhism dr misra had been attached with projects from oxford university Birmingham and Tibbenbaum in Germany, and he has published many articles in national and international journals. So we are privileged to have Dr. Mishra, and he'll be talking about Harappan civilization. As you know, this civilization pushed the antiquity of India back after the discovery of John Marshall and Dharam Sahani. And apart from Egyptian civilization and Mesopotamia. in this very civilization marked a glorious chapter in indian history now i request dr nakul sahin to introduce the topic and then dr umakanta misra to give his lecture thank you very much thank you sir good good morning uh, ppm sir good morning uh, good morning umakant misra sir and uh, all my learners my name is uh, dr nakshat shahin and uh, i am uh, and, and we are so 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 lucky that uh, we are good getting opportunity to get in class at, uh, from overcome business sir today topic is uh, harappan culture this is a very interesting topic and uh, here uh, what we are going to see that uh, overcome uh, sir is uh, making a ppt i think this class is going to be very interesting Yeah, our research is not taking so much pain and uh, taking so much effort to give us uh, extra knowledge on uh, on 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 uh, our history topic. So we, as uh, as a moderator or learner, should uh, should should listen every uh, topic from our research person very uh, seriously. And uh, one thing I really want to tell all the learners. while uh, the first person saying anything you please keep on writing because after uh, listening you may forget there are so many things in history but uh, you may forget better if we lis- listen same time if we write also and the topic is uh, our harappan culture yes. where where uh, in uh, from our school days to in our plus 2 in graduation level in pg also we read this uh, topic and in uh, and, and student uh, whether they are preparing for competitive exam this topic is really very interesting i mean uh, you can get maximum question from this chapter so it's my request to all the learners please uh, be sincere and uh, keep listening this topic uh, very seriously because this is the this this is such such an topic where where we we found that their urbanization the great bath the great granary the drainage system where everything was so unique the social life in the social life they are including their social diversity food dress their attire ornaments their household items weapons their agriculture craft and technology their trade and commerce their places of worship and their beliefs their uh, that life after death that uh, harappan led varied varied religious life it is not only included the worship of pashupati like holy water sir mother goddess trees and animals etc but their burial system the like uh, the belief in life after death the in fact the religious life of the harappans was very unique so now i request uh, umakan sir to please uh, continue this session yes sir thank you so much yes. my namaskar to our teacher patita baban sir and um, let me straight away start the topic uh, 
this this topic harappan civilization is very crucial to our present day politics you know history is not about past history is about present and future through the lens of the past and this lens called harappan civilization is has become so crucial to our definitions of nations and its past this will be very clear very shortly ha huh? let me start with these two three discoveries very recently as you could see uh, on the left uh, you have a sword copper sword on the right uh, on the top there is a bronze chariot or copper chariot uh, if you look at the wheel uh, which is still embedded in the mud uh, because it was being excavated from a site called bagpat uh, in sonoli district which is a late harappan site uh, and you could see there is no spoke on the wheel uh, but it is a chariot uh, and we have also sword and uh, people of excav uh, archaeological survey of india who excavated the site say that you know this is a late harappan site along with harappan pottery scripts uh, and they say that you have been so long saying that harappan civilization was different from vedic civilization because vedic civilization people were using chariot whereas huh, whereas indus valley people were not using chariot uh, and here is an evidence where chariot is found uh, discovered and therefore it suggests that indus valley people were using chariot and they were same as the vedic people this is one of the major politics regarding the past today the it is about the nature of harappan civilization whether we should call it as part of vedic civilization or harappan civilization is a distinct civilization from vedic civilization or aryan civilization which is considered to be the foundational basis of bharatvarsha as been defined today uh, in many circles that one group of historians say that the bedrock of indian culture the foundational basis of indian culture is vedic corpus of literature that is veda upanishad puranas and this is this forms the basis foundational basis of indian civilization so therefore if harappan civilization was something which was not only anterior which was not only earlier from vedic civilization as has been argued so far if it is not only distinct not only earlier from the vedic civilization then this harappan civilization remains outside of the foundational basis of indic civilization if indic civilizations foundational basis is vedic age vedic civilizations and this harappan civilization is earlier not only earlier than the vedic civilization but also distinct from it and we will discuss why distinct from it then the entire thesis of some group of historian some group of politicians who say that it is the vedic corpus of literature which constitute the fundamental basis of indian civilization is contested if this is a big civilization if you look at i'll show you the map this is a big civilization covering almost 8 lakh you know 8000 800000 square kilometer 6 lakh square kilometer to 8 lakh square kilometer it's a huge area ha huh? it's a huge area and will show and if this is quite developed it is one of the earliest urban civilization far more advanced urbanism than mesopotamia with great degree of civic amenities such as road planning bath you know all that we'll discuss later on if this civilization is earlier than vedic civilization if it is distinct from vedic civilization then how could we exclude such a civilization in a perspective which says that veda and subsequent vedic corpus constitutes the very basis of indian civilization sir that means if far right uh, historians uh, 
and a group of scholars who write from Arya Samaj days says that the foundational basis of Indic civilization is Veda and Vedic corpus. And here is a civilization which is not only earlier than Vedic civilization, but also distinct from it, then the entire hypothesis of the very nature of Indian civilization is now falls into falls down or falls flat. Therefore, it was not acceptable for the rightist historians, for a group of historians to say that Indus civilization was earlier than Vedic civilization. Indus civilization was not distinct from Vedic civilization. Rather, Vedic civilization was earlier and the urban phase of Vedic civilization is Indus civilization. Therefore, there is a group of people who now claim that not only they give a new name to Indus civilization, not only they give a new name to Harappan civilization, they also make the argument on the basis of certain evidence that I am now showing on your screen that Harappan civilization is actually an urban phase is an urban manifestations of the early Vedic civilizations. Early Vedic civilization no urban phase hela Harappan civilization then age Vedic civilization agaric Vedic civilization ta pore Harappan civilization age Vedic civilization ta pore Harappan civilization Harappan civilization Vedic civilization no kebala urban phase ra extension into Prakutare, a civilization of Boydiko Sabhatara part. Therefore, Harappan civilization was not an earlier civilization. It was not a distinct civilization. Rather, it was part of the Vedic civilization. It is merely an urban phase. And here is the evidence on your screen. We, they give two evidence. A back for the district, this is from Sonoli, a late Harappan site. And, um, where we have a spoke uh, spokeless chariot dam, and on the on on the screen below you will see a, a graph uh, which is taken from the genome structure of Rakhigadi. This site has also emerged as a major site of politics and political contestations by a group of historians and geneticists uh, who argue that uh, this is a genome structure from Rakhigadi's soul skeleton. It is very difficult to get the extract the gene or gene structure of human being, human being from ancient dead people. And there is only one skeleton from a site which is a very huge site, Harappan site called Rakhigadi in Haryana, where only one skeleton when extracted yielded the genome, gene structure of that being. When that genome structure was decoded, it was found that the genome structure of this man has similarity with Iranian people rather than from steppes people. Generally, it is believed that the Indo-European people whom in popular literature we call as Arya people or Vedic people, the general understanding right from 1875 is that Aryan people or the Vedic people, Rig Vedic people came from Central Asia steppes grassland area, which William Jones in his book in 1875 for the first time said that from a common, common place, they have moved in two directions, Eastern and Western direction. They came to India in eastern direction. In the western direction, they went as far as Greece and Latin area, Italy area. And therefore, we have similarities in Indo-European language. This was the general basic understanding right from 1875 that the Indo-European people whom we call as Aryan or Igbedic people or whom Iranian people as called the Obestan people or the Italian people called as the Latino speaking people or the Greek people speaking, Greek speaking people, they came from a common origin, which is the steppes grassland of Central Asia from which they moved out. But this Rakhigadi evidence shows that the genome structure of Harappan people, late, this is again 
a mature harappan and a late harappan site uh, and from the late harappan year this genome was found and this genome from that skeleton from rakhigadi has similarity with iranian plateau people rather than steppes people that is indo european people whom we called as the aryan people and therefore there is no similarity between this genome structure and that of the central asian people and therefore to stay to state that in the late harappan phase the aryans from the steppes area came down to india is not valid because this genome indus valley people skeleton as found from rakhigadi doesn't have any genome structure which has similarity with the steppes people of central asia um, which is the original homeland of the indo european people whom in india we call as aryan or rigvedic people so this is the politics which is now being sprung out stating that or with the obvious objective that there must be a civilization called harappan civilization called in the civilization another name is now being coined we will discuss it is now called saraswati sindhu sabhyata no no more use the term indus valley civilization no more is Tom used on Harappan civilization. Now there is a spin which is being given, stating that this is a Saraswati Sindhu Sabhyata. Harappan civilization is now called a Saraswati Sindhu Sabhyata. It is an extension of Vedic civilization. It is an urban extension of Vedic civilization. And the people of Indus Valley has no similarity with the Aryan people or the Indo-European people or the Vedic. Over Uh, of the indo-european people of the steppes area from the dna genome structure that has been analyzed from rakhigadi and here is evidence to suggest that they are merely an extension of the vedic civilization because here is an evidence of chariot there is from a site in gujarat called surpododa which was excavated by jagatpati joshi a director general of asi who found evidence of hearts bones here is an evidence from sonoli which has yielded you know who, who, who chariot copper chariot there are other evidence from harappan seals such as swastika pancha swastika tri swastika swastika symbol has been found from harappan seals and swastika is also there they are in rigveda there is reference to pancha swastika tri swastika in rigveda and since majority of the harappan sites have been found and there are about 1100 sites which has been found which have been found so far for harappan sites out of which the majority 57% of the sites are found along this new now dried saraswati civilization which is now called ghagar hakra river sar ghagar hakra river which has dried up now almost in entire stretch which has uh, its origin from shivalik area uh, of of himalaya now has dried up it is identified with i'll show you the picture Um, that river has actually dried up and along the bank of that river there are 57% of indus valley or harappan sites and therefore now the historians say that why do we call it indus valley civilization because majority sites are not along the indus bank majority sites are not in punjab or the harappa area but rather along the bank of river saraswati therefore why don't you call it saraswati sindhu river civilization rather than harappan or indus valley civilization there is there is also a context a political context the political context is this these are the evidence which are cited to buttress the argument that the harappan civilization was merely an urban phase of the vedic civilization it is a vedic civilization vedic civilization no extension Uh, urban phase. Agar Vedic civilization, our urban development hai ki, urban development hai ki Indus Valley Harappan civilization na chhe. Taku ame Indus Valley civilization koi bani, taku ame Harappan civilization koi bani. Ame taku Saraswati Sindhu sabhyata koi ba. Kaina eita boidi ko sanskruti ruhiye. 
जमी वैदिक संस्कृति में रथ इम्पोर्टाट थी रथटा गोटे इंडो यूरोपियान वार्ड रातर आसी रथ चार यूज कर महाभारत देखु बेदर ऋग्वेदर देख इंद्र चार जाऊँगी तेणु जमी चार सोड आमतीिया रथर ना अश्वर रथर तेणु अश्वर मिली स्वस्तिक मिली फायर अल्टर कालीबंगन मिली आम तेणु अग्नि पूजा करूले जमी वैदिक आर्य मान अग्नि पूजा करूले जमी वैदिक आरियन वेर यूजिंग हर्से आदि वेदिक आरियन वेर यूजिंग चार आदि वेदिक आरियन वेर यूजिंग हर्से आज दे वेर यूजिंग रईस दे वेर इटिंग रईस ब्रिहि similarly we have when they were uh, when uh, the vedic people considered swastika as a sacred symbol similarly in the indus valley various sites we have evidence of swastika pancha swastika chariot rice um, from <coughs> rangapura um, ram, horse bones from surkododa and then why not call it ए सरस्वती सिंबल सिंधु सभ्यता बिकॉज इट वाज ए लॉन्ग दि फ्रॉम सरस्वती टू सिंधु यू नो दि वेदिक आर्यन सेटल्ड फ्रॉम इंडस फ्रॉम सिंधु टू सरस्वती रिवर एरिया इन द सप्त सिंधु एरिया ऋग्वेदिक पीपल सेटल्ड लिव्ड एंड देयर फॉर सिंस दे वर लिविंग इन द सप्त सिंधु एरिया एंड इट वाज अलोंग द सप्त सिंधु एरिया द लार्जेस्ट नंबर ऑफ साइट्स हैव बीन फाउंड एंड मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंटली मेजर 57% ऑफ द साइट्स आर फाउंड अलोंग द सरस्वती बैंक्स देयरफॉर कॉल इट सरस्वती सिंधु सभ्यता व्हिच इज द बेसिस which is part of the vedic sabhyata which is therefore it is not uh, outside of the foundational basis of indic civilization it was part of the foundational basis of indic civilization therefore there is no anomaly today earlier if you believe that uh, indus valley civilization was earlier distinct urbanized whereas vedic rig vedic civilization was pastoral you know gram based it was a kinship based uh, tribe based uh, jana based then you know there was a problem about how to include or exclude this urban phase because today urbanism is the buzzword how can you exclude harappan civilization from the foundational basis of defining india now therefore there is a spin now being given by the rightist historian by claiming that harappan civilization is merely an extension of the vedic civilization okay are you listening to me hello yes sir yes sir yes sir so so if you look at this some um, you know If you look at this um, 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 graph, uh, the the shaded portion is actually the geographical extent. In your le, if you look at the west, uh, it is almost bordering uh, the Makran coast. Uh, Sutka gender is an outpost. Uh, it's a it's a bead area, bead uh, you know, cell bead manufacturing areas. Sutka gender. Uh, it's an it's an outlier area of the Indus Valley civilization in the west. bordering on the iranian iran iran area it was on the makran coast in the west and if you look at the eastern uh, extent of the harappan civilization therefore today people are wary of calling it indus valley civilization as marshal called you know, not harappan civilization but saraswati sindhu civilization as i explained you the politics behind this new nomenclature uh, and the argument various kind of arguments which are being adduced to support the claim that this is saraswati sindhu sabhyata and merely an extension an urban extension of the um, vedic civilization if you look at the extension if you look at this is a this is not part of the part of india therefore don't say that what is happening in harappa is happening elsewhere in india the white portion uh, remains blank and there are other activities which are happening in these white portions uh, it has nothing to do with what is happening in the shaded portion the shaded portion is where we have the urban civilization called harappan civilization called saraswati sindhu civilization called indus valley civilization and in the west it is up to 
Sutka gender in the east, if you look at the uh, Ganga, Jamuna, Upper Gangetic, Doab area, as we call them, you will see Alamgirpur, a site in Uttar Pradesh, which is the eastern extension. And in the south, if you look at, uh, there is a site called Doimabad in Maharashtra on the <coughs> river of Pravara, uh, on the bank of river Pravara oh, is Doimabad. Uh, and in the north, it is in Jammu, which is a site called Monda, Manda. So this is a huge extension. And this is a huge extension um, covering, as I told you, about almost 1,100 sites. Uh, there are big sites like Rakhigadi, uh, Mahanjodara, Harappa, and recently in Cholistan, Punjab area, there are new sites which have come up and discovered and excavated by Pakistan Archaeological Society, which is more than 200 hectares. And also, Mohenjodaro, Harappa, Rakhigadi, the initial estimation of the size of the area was grossly underrepresented. And many historians and archaeologists now believe that the size of Harappa and Mohenjodaro was far more than 100 hectares. Um, 130 hectares, which was earlier estimation. It was almost every site. Uh, Rakhigadi, Harappa, Mohenjodaro, um, they are approximately more than um, more than 150 hectares, almost 200 hectares, uh, because proper excavation had not been done on different areas uh, on the total size of the Harappa or Harappa is densely populated today. It's very difficult to excavate. We'll go on, you know, discussing about that. As you could see, therefore, the major sites, as you will see, this is, you know, as you could see, there is, there is a river which is dotted, which is Ghogar Akra, as I called, as a historian today call it as um, the Saraswati river which has been dried and in Rig Veda Saraswati has been described as Saraswati Sindhu Mata huh, he, he, whose, uh, whose waves look like that of the sea she, Saraswati Sindhu Mata he, she is regarded as the mother of all rivers she resembles like an ocean and you know play a geologist and play tectonics theory say that around 1800-1900 BC this Ghagar Hakra river or the Saraswati river dried up because of a geological activity by which there was a huge earthquake, a plate tectonic activity as a result of that earthquake. Jamuna, which was a tributary of Saraswati, was disconnected from Saraswati and it was captured by um, Ganga. As you could see, um, you know, both the uh, Jamuna on the top, you look at the Himalaya area, both the uh, Yen, both the um, Saraswati, Bhagavaratra, as well as Jamuna had their origin almost very close to each other. And they, Jamuna was a tributary, but later on um, it was captured as a result of a plate tectonic or a geological activity as a result of earthquake. Uh, Jamuna was captured by Ganga River. Um, and therefore, Bhagavarakra didn't get enough water, it became desiccated. I'll show you some of the satellite maps um, um, of this. So, this is <coughs> Mohenjodaro, and as you could see, Mohenjodaro Mound is look on the on the top of the Mahanjodar mound is a stupa which was uh, which was dated to Sunga period and therefore initially people believe that uh, Mahanjodar in Larkana in Sindh in Sindh province of Punjab oh, sorry in Sindh pro province of Pakistan initially people thought that this civilization was a very recent civilization some believe that uh, this belongs to third century BC some belong believe that this stupa belongs to Sunga period therefore the site belongs to 2nd century BC, but later on, as I showed you, uh, this is the chronology of discovery of Harappan civilization. Some. And I should not go deep into it. In 19, um, 1826 uh, is when the site was first noticed, uh, but it was not until 1920 when Dwaram excavated Harappa. In 1921, Adi energy excavated Manjodara uh, under the uh, directorship of uh, Sir John Marshall and in 1924-25 Marshall declared uh, 
to a news um, magazine called Illustrated News Magazine, the discovery of ancient civilization, which is as old as um, um, Mesopotamia, Egyptian civilizations. Are. But this civilization obviously didn't come in one day. Uh, now historians like Mogul, he is a great um, 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 archaeologist. Um, they believe that Indus Valley, Harappa, or Saraswati Sindhu civilization will discuss uh, uh, came up gradually. Earlier, the belief was that urban civilization, including Harappan civilization, emerged as a result of diffusion from Mesopotamia. Mesopotamia was the source where for the first time we have urbanism in 4000 BC and from Mesopotamia um, because we have evidence of contact of Harappa, Mahanjadara and other sites of um, Indus Valley Harappan civilization with Mesopotamian civilizations and therefore initially Marshall and others believe that including Mortimer Wheeler believe that um, Harappan civilization, this urban civilization uh, actually diffused from Mesopotamia, but now this belief of diffusion from Mesopotamia actually discarded. We have far greater evidence of gradual evolutions to urbanism uh, or uh, uh, urban phase from village life to urban phase. Now archaeologists have relatively discovered, excavated and mapped out the evolutions of urban civilization in India as a result of gradual progression from village life to urban life. And what do you mean by civilizations? This is very important. How is it different from a culture? A civilization, an urban civilization, obviously urban means um, you know, there is some connection with density and occupation. Today, census defines urban area as one where um, there is a density which is about 240 per square kilometer. I, you know, I might be wrong. There must be 5,000 populations or more, and three fourth of the people must be living other than agriculture. You know, urban koila, I mean, Gote area, Joti densely populate Lokotibe, densely many gote square kilometer kete locorochon as it is a child squauchi. Aubana Lokomane agriculture kebola corunati, at least all gajin is so coruti. Urban koilea, civilization koila kona me wujut, then rural au urban. Tab urban a civilization, urban civilization, urban kohauchi e dipani. Eti Lokomane agriculture chada bohut olga jiniso korutel. Ajira census redefinition a three port loco agriculture chada alga kono korivako tajadita ko urban kwa. Then today urbanism or urban is defined as a spatial zone where people live in a densely populated way huh, in a particular area and professes occupations other than agriculture to a substantial. To a substantial degree. Three fourths of the population must be doing other than agriculture, living in a dense area. Three, you know, population size is 5,000, density is 240. Similarly, a Harappan civilization was an urban civilization, urban area, urban civilizations, uh, or an urban space because people were doing. Um, um, other than agriculture, that doesn't mean that agriculture was unimportant. That doesn't mean that there are no rural villages. There are villages, but there are also urban centers. And it was very important to also notice that no urban space can operate without stable supply of various things from rural area. There is a connection. There is a continuous continuity between urban to rural. Gaon to Kasba, Kasba to subdivision, block, Town with a continuity, a chi, say continuity, that has a space of continuity, no linkage, rabbi, continuity. Genius of Adan Pradan, Uchi, Lokman, Jivasia, Kuruchanti, Ame de Kuchekemiti, Garu Lokojagi, Dili, Bombay, Corona, Samare, Feruchan. Then a continuity does a bullet, Lokomanagora, Genisar, Sabula appreciate for the urbanism, no Kali Mohenjo Dara, Horopa. Bohudora. Gambaria settlement, Hila, Juda Pancho Hector, Rukom, Judi Horopa, Script Muluchi, Horopa, Potri Muluchi, Mukoibi, Timothy, Amechiniva, would a site a Horopan site bully. Tenu Amebe, some must 
ଏବେ ଏବେ କହିସାରିଲେଣି ହରପ୍ପାଟା ଆସ୍ତେ ଆସ୍ତେ ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ କରିଛି ଯେଉଁ ଅରବାନ ଫେଜ ହେଇଛି ଏଇଟା ଆସ୍ତେ ଆସ୍ତେ ଭିଲେଜ ଲାଇଫ ରୁ ଅରବାନ ଲାଇଫ ହେଇଛି ତେଣୁ ଆମେ ଆଜିକାଲି ତିନିଟା ଫେଜ କଥା ଅରପାନ ସିଭିଲିଜେସନ କଥା କହୁଛୁ ଅର୍ଲି ଫେଜ ମ୍ୟାଚୁଆର ଫେଜ ଆଉ ଲେଟ ହରପାନ ଫେଜ ଯେଉଁ ସମୟରେ ଅରବାନ ଫିଚର ଡିକ୍ଲାଇନ କରିଗଲା କିନ୍ତୁ ବହୁତ ଜିନିଷ ଆହୁରି କଣ୍ଟିନ୍ୟୁ କରୁଥିଲା ତେଣୁ ମୋଗଲ ବୋଲି ଫେମସ ଆର୍କିଓଲୋଜି ସିଏ ଅର୍ଲି ମ୍ୟାଚୁଆର ଆଉ ଲେଟ କଥା କହୁଛନ୍ତି ତାଙ୍କୁ ସପୋର୍ଟ କରିବାକୁ ଅମଳେନ୍ଦୁ ଘୋଷ ବି କହୁଛନ୍ତି ନାଇଁ ଅର୍ଲି ଫେଜ ରେ କଣ କଣ ଥିଲା ତେଣୁ ଏବେ ଅର୍ଲି ହରପ୍ପା ତେଣୁ ଆମେ କୋଉଠୁ ଜାଣୁଛୁ ଅର୍ଲି ହରପ୍ପା ଅର୍ଲି ହରପ୍ପା ମାନେ ଅରବାନ ହରପ୍ପା ପିରିୟଡ ଅରବାନ ମହେଞ୍ଜୋଦାରରେ ଅରବାନ ଧୋଲାବିରାରେ ଅରବାନ ବିଭିନ୍ନ ସାଇଟ ଯେଉଁ ମୁଁ କହୁଛି ହରପ୍ପା ରାକ୍ଷୀଗଡି ଧୋଲାବିରା ଗନେରିୱାଲ ମହେଞ୍ଜୋଦାର କୋଡିଜି ଲୋଥାଲ ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ ଯେଉଁ ସାଇଟ ଯୋଡା ଅଛି ସେଠି ଅରବାନ ଫେଜ ପୂର୍ବରୁ ହଁ କିଛି ଜିନିଷ ଥିଲା ଯେଉଁଟା ଆଣ୍ଟିସିପେଟ କରୁଥିଲା ଅରବାନିଜିମ ଦେଫର ଦେର ଆର ସର୍ଟନ କଲଚରାଲ ଡେଭଲପମେଣ୍ଟ ଇନ ଦ ପ୍ରି ଅରବାନ ଫେଜ we suggested or which anticipated urban phase which started from 2600 therefore early phase of harappan civilization started from 3500 continued up to 2600 bc the matured phase of harappan civilization started from 2600 bc continued up to 1900 bc late phase of harappan civilization where we have unmistakable evidence of decline of harappan civilization we started from 1900 bc continued up to 1700 bc early harappan phase as mogul has looked at uh, there are and earlier also many historians and archaeologists have done this uh, omri kodiji nal um balakot you know from these sites we have many features which anticipated the urban phase for example uniform uniformity and diversity uh, sorry uh, which anticipated urban phase such as if you look at harappan pottery harappan pottery is red slip on which black painting is done if you look at the painting on harappan pottery you will find pipal design the bull Uh, these typical motifs occur in the pre harappan or the early harappan sites such as amri nal culture kodiji culture these are the sites which belong to 3526 rehman deri palakot uh, these are the sites in sindh area in <coughs> in in baluchistan area where we have evidence of anticipating urban phase by these early harappan site how did they anticipate they started producing the same motifs in the pottery they uh, <coughs> they have fortification of their settlements uh, they have trade contacts they have weight and measurements they have trade contacts in the form of bead and other exchange uh, other goods exchange therefore they anticipated the coming of the harappan phase uh, uh, through adoptions of certain motifs on the pottery um, trade contacts fortification of site uh, these are the um, you know standard features of early harappan development which started obviously before that with the expansion of village community then we have also in the ghagra hakra valley um, ghagra hakra river area we have another culture uh, which is called the sothi culture by amalendu ghos a ghos sites from such as kalibangan uh, and other sites uh, sothi which had a pre mature phase where we have evidence of cultural activities uh, this is therefore there are three major pockets one is the punjab chulistan pocket the other is lower sindh and baluchistan pocket the third is ghogar hakra pocket where we have evidence of early harappan cultures uh, um, which you know emerge which anticipated then we have mature harappan um, you know 2600 to 1900 and we we'll look at some of the major sites and its feature and uh, um um uniformity and diversity in time planning characteristic feature what are the urban features evidence of contact with mesopotamia turkmenistan persian gulf 
craft specialization, major building, and then we'll look at the possible causes of decline. Then we'll go to post, post Harappan culture, such as, as I told you, we have again different pockets. After 1900, 1800, we see we have a Gandhara grave culture in Peshawar area. We have a symmetry age culture in Harappa area. We have a Rangapura culture in uh, Rangapur area of Gujarat. We have in the Harappan, in the Ganga Jamuna Doha area, we have sites such as Barnagar, Hulas, uh, and other area, Bhagwanpura, where we have series of other culture suggesting thereby around 1900 BC, 1800 BC, urban phase of Harappa decline. There are new group of people who are coming, who are interacting with Harappan people in different geographical cultural zone. In Gujarat, we have Rangapura pottery. In Gangetic, Upper Gangetic, Doha area, we have uh, <coughs> Paranagar, we have Hulas culture, we have Hulas culture. Uh, in um, um, in um, Peshawar area, we have Gandhara grave culture. In, um, in um, Harappa area, we have symmetry age culture, clearly suggesting that there are new group of people who came after the urban phase decline in 1900 BC, 1800 BC. And these are the new people who came, settled, interacted with Harappan people such as OCW people in Nathranji, sorry, Bhagwanpura. We have we have also PGW people we, who also interacted with later Harappan people. We have Hulas culture people. We have Gandhara grave culture people. There are host lot of you know new people who came up, interacted with Harappan culture. But Harappan culture with its characteristic feature started declining around 1700 BC. But you know many features of that civilization continued thereafter, such as Linga worship, such as Pasupati, such as many others. So we have already discussed early Harappan. You know, in the on your screen we um, talk about null culture, Amdi culture, you know, how they anticipated many of the features that we find in the mature Harappan period. Okay, are you listening to me or not? Hello? Hello? Yes, sir, we are listening to you. Thank you. And this is a Thank construction you. of the um, city's principal road. As you could see, um, there is a outer um, wall uh, and we have bastion on the city wall and there is, there is a um, huge road as straight as, you know, as right angle. Uh, yeah, there are two three um, there are two roads one is from north to south the other is from east to west dividing the city into four quadrants four quadrants but this is not same everywhere we look at the diversity there is a archaeologist and historian called maria fentrest maria fentrest has looked at diversity in town planning the earlier understanding was that Harappan cities were divided into two areas. The higher up area in the west is called the citadel area. The lower up area is called the lower town area. This is this is from the lower town. This graphic on the screen is from the lower town. And therefore, the general uh, <coughs> assumption, the general understanding, the popular understanding is that um, you know, Harappan cities have great degree of uniformity in the town planning. Uh, and the town planning is such that there are two mounds. The west mound is slightly up um, in elevation. It is always in the west and this is smaller in size, but this is also fortified. And there is a um, there is also a mound in the uh, east, which is larger and which is also fortified. And there is a general fortification wall. Um, <coughs> and in the lower town, uh, the entire city was divided into four quad quadrants by a rectangular huge road um, running from north to south from one city door, uh, huh, one door to outer door, the outdoor, you know, outer fortified door we have in the city. And therefore, lower town was fortified, the citadel was fortified, the lower town was rectangular divided into four uh, quadrants because of the north south east to west grid 
this is our general understanding as we found from mahanjodaro as we found from you know harappa but this understanding is now gone i don't have slides to show the layout of various cities but today our understanding of the city planning harappan city planning is far more advanced and that suggests a very diverse ways of conceiving the city there are very diverse cities in city planning for example in lothal you don't have um, the separate citadel area and lower area both citadel area and low town area is part of one fortified area in lothal in dholavira we have not two towns not the lower town and the citadel area but three towns we have a middle town in dholavira therefore unlike harappa and mohenjodaro dholavira has three towns uh, the citadel town the low town and a middle town in between we have lothal where the citadel and the low town were both part of the same complex we have kalibangan you know which is far more greater in size than lothal lothal is about 5 hectare in size but where there is a national maritime museum is coming up sindhesar is the first head of that maritime museum which is coming up now in lothal and there uh, you will find a beautiful town planning in lothal but not in kalibangan kalibangan town planning is very bad but dholavira is brilliant and in dholavira you have for the first time masonry rubble is being used stones are being used unlike you know if you look at harappan brick used you will find that mud brick is used in the outer fortification in village sites you will find mud brick in uh, in in urban ghar in urban houses you will find bond brick as well as um, sand dried brick but in the out in villages you will find only mud brick being used therefore you will find mud brick in villages dried brick and um, bond brick in um, the ghar and um, city wall therefore there are even the uniformity is maintained uniformity in houses and public building is always maintained so one is 7 14 28 the other is 10 20 30 therefore you will find uniformity everywhere but you know, some is bond brick the other is um, sun dried or um, yeah mud 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 brick so there are therefore we have considerable evidence of diversity Dholavira is different. <coughs> Kalibangan is different. Lothal is different. Mohenjo-daro Harappa they are different. This is great path, and um, you know this is this on your screen as you could see is the great path. Um, you know you have description and many are including Mackay and others who excavated. Uh, they say that this is being used for ritual purposes. So this is again another view of the great bath and the building surrounding building that we had. Um, <clears throat> this is great granary and great bath together. And on the you know if you look at uh, the picture below, this is the stone reservoir, um, the uh, reservoir which was excavated from. Dholavira, which is located in the Koch district, which is almost an arid zone with little rainfall, therefore they needed to um, <coughs> conserve the water, which was a very scanty resources, and therefore they built this reservoir in the site of Dholavira, and I have given you a picture of that. So I don't have to go into the great path and all that, as I told you, the Harappans. developed high degree of civic amenities and uniformity i told you about the brick site i'll give you one instances of this is a narrow street of harap manjodaro this street is very narrow this is a by lane you cannot approach the main street you have to use this by lane to go to the main street which is from north to south and from east to west you cannot see the main street there is no window which was overlooking to the main street there is a bathroom which is paved i'll show you that also 
uh, and and you will see the main drain uh, to which your bathroom and your sewerage was connected uh, there was a main drain which discharges these uh, sludges to outside the city limit and this main drain was paved and you could see this uh, this corbel drain of harappa on your screens uh, um, i'll show you this is a bathroom uh, of mahenjodar as you could see this this is uh, this is paved and there is a hole uh, with some pit which goes on to the um, uh, smaller drain on the bylanes and then this was connected to the main drain now then we have a well uh, uh, i cannot go in deep into many aspects uh, this is mount abi of harappa um, <clears throat> this is you know these holes are ye uh, wells uh, and we have public bathing area with platforms uh, as you could see this is the great granary of harappa and um, these are the working platforms uh, these are the working platforms on which and granary on the harvesting was done therefore what i am suggesting i am suggesting that there are in the urban space there are working area for the craft people there are also granaries and reservoirs granaries and ritual bath place we suggest great degree of civic management of affairs public affairs there are also economic activities which are being regulated in the public space that suggest we have working platform uh, which is which in gym public area we have ritual bathing complex which was in the public area not in part of individual household not as part of individual household but as part of the public area therefore great degree of public activities uh, were taking place in various ways on various functions one is ritual bathing as you know, we do today during various ablutions like you know um, jemdi ame aaj karu ju hela vel ku ethi buda poku ju sethi buda poku ju public area chi jemdi aaj amar granary au warehouse achi gahma au dhan rakhia ku semiti tankar achi tenu ot urban area stable supply upar depend ku general estimation hela harapar population 35000 महेन्द्र पपुलेसन आप्रोक्सीमेटली षाठी हजार राखीगढ़ी धूलाबीरार भी बड़ सैट गनेरीवाला एटा माउंट एफ हरपार माउंट एफ मु आउ हरपा एबे बहुत डेंसली पॉपुलेटेड टेन सब एरिया को एडा हरपार कॉर्पोरेट ड्रेन जोडा मेन ड्रेन जोडा सिटी रो आउटर लिमिट रे बाहरी असला जिनस स्ल जोडा गो गो महिला सब फुपाडी दोथला एउडा माउंट विभिन्न माउंट एरिया एबे मु अलगा जिन सोडा को डिस्क्राइब करिया को जाउ छु एउडा वेट वडा हां तेनु वेट वडा रे अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन अर्बन कथा सिविलाइजेशन कथा कही नी हाँ अर्बन है लोक मैंने विभिन्न अक्युपेसन कर एग्रिकलचर छड़ा ट्रेड थी क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेशन थी इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड थी मनी इकोनोमी थी थे तेनालीजेसन आलचर भर डिफरेन्स कौन कहीदे कि अलग फिचर गुडाक जाऊँ अर्बन एवल्यूशन बहिरे क्लडन चाइल्ड फेमस आर्कियोलोजिस्ट दसटा फिचर कथ कौन गोटे कलचर कलचर मान सब सोसाइट रलचर अच्छे तेणु कौ कलचर टा सिविलेशन हम से कौन दस टा जो कलचर दस टा फिचर थी कि मेजोरीटी फिचर थी दस टा फिचर से सिविलेशन कौटा ना अर्बानिजम अर्बान सेन्टर थी स्क्राफ स्पेशलेशन थी गोटे रूलर क्लास थी टैक्स निया मोनुमेंटल बिल्डिंग थी राइटिंग थी ट्रेड इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड थी यही सब रिली अर्गानाइज रिलीजन थी यही सब फीचर जो कलचर थी से गोटे सिविलाइजेशन 
तेणु कौ गुड़ा सिविलजेसन फास्ट है अरबान सेन्टर थी सेकेंड कौन क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेसन थी थार्ड कौन रईटिंग थी चार कौन स्टेट थी स्टेट इमर्जेज पांच कौन रूली क्लास थे छ कौन टैक्सेसन थी सात कौन मनुमेटाल आर्किटेक्चर थी आठ कौन इंटरनेशनल ट्रेड थी नौ कौन इंटरनाल डिफरेनसीएसन थी लोक लोक मान भाई क्राफ्ट बेसीस रैंक बेसीस पोजिशन बेसीस स्पेशलाइजेस इंटरनाल डिफरेनसीएसन तक आम एक्सटर्नाल स्पेशलाइजेस एंड इंटरनाल डिफरेनसीएस यही सब जो कलचर फिचर थी आम अरबान सिविलजेस कह लोक मैंने गोटे जगार डेन्सली रोथे मेचे लोक रोथे गोटे जगार लग लग रोथे से मैंने अकुपेसन जहाँ करुवे एग्रिकलचर छड़ा अलग अकुपेसन करुवे से मैंने ट्रेड थी रईटिंग थी क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेस थी स्टेट थी टैक्सेसन थी युवा फिचर थे कह एबे नेक्स्ट फीचर को हमें जीवा तेणु क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेस जीवा गोटे मु तुमको हरप्पा न टाउन प्लानिंग कथा कहली टाउन प्लानिंग रे डाइवर्सिटी कथा कहली यूनिफर्मिटी कथा कहली ब्रिक रूनिफर्मिटी टाउन न ले आउट रूनिफर्मिटी कि भितर कौन कौन डिफरेन्सेस अच्छे एवं आम क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेस सैज कथा कहली सैज रे सब मेजर सैज है गुआनेलाला राखीगढ़ी महेन्द्रदार धोलामीरा गुड़ा सब मेजर सैट आज कल एगार सैट बहुत जहाँ शहेटा खंडे खोलाई थोड़ा वेरी रिसेंटली आम तीन टा खोलाई गोटे है राखीगढ़ी गोटे है बिंजोर एवं सनोली लेट हरप्पा सैट इंडिया सैट कि पाकिस्तान सैड रे बहुत गुड़ा सैट खोला इटालीयन आर्कियोलोजिस्ट मान सा बहुत सैट खोल यही मेजर गोटे वर्ष बड़ बड़ देश हेक्टर अधिका सैट सब बहुत पाकिस्तान पंजाब प्रोविन्स रू बाहर सारे ए क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेस को आसवा हाँ तेणु गोटे है मेजर फिचर है मुझे कहली सिविलजेस अरबानिजिम अरबानिजिम रहा टाउन प्लानिंग लोक मैंने के डाइवर्सीटी के टाउन प्लानिंग अच्छी घर गुड़ा मुझे कहली कौन सब घर गुड़ा याई सन ड्राएड आंड ब्रिक्रे को घर गुड़ा ओभरलुक करूनि मेन स्ट्रीट को विंडो बाहर कवाटा सैड लैन में सब गुड़ा बाथरूम अच्छी बाथरूम गुड़ा पेप देगुड़ा सब मेजर फिचर मुझे बेस आज समय ना सब कह क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेस ने आम देखा सुना बीड तय गेम्स विभिन्न कपर एगुड़ा सब सब क्राफ्ट आड हरिका तो बहुत मेजर कम कराई हम्बायत केनोएर बोली जो फेमस आर्कियोलोजिस्ट बहुत काम बीड रही करूले लापिस लाजुली रीड कार्नेलीन बीड मु देखियो जब फटो थी मुझे देखे हाँ युवा सब तुम ये खेल रुप युवा तेणु आमर क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेस बहुत एविडेन्स मन रखिता आईरन छाड़ीदे सब जानी सुना पाखे मिलूँ रूपार मिलूँ आम सिल जो गुड़ा सब स्टीएटाइट कराई अलग जिन सिल्वर भी आम को सिल मिली फेन्स रि आमको सिल मिली तेणु विभिन्न सिल मानुफैक्चरिंग बहुत स्पेशलाइजेस करते सी सी तुम मुझे देखे सिल गुड़ा को युवा गोटे बोर्ड रे पाच तुम स्क्रीन देख चल मुझे देखे दूची एगुड़ा देख सिल गुड़ा सब हाँ विभिन्न सिल आम सब मेजर सिल है जेबुबुल सिल आम देखीचे हंड बुल जो आम कौचे विषर्ण आम देखुचे सिल मुझे देखे आई सिल रहा तेणु ये सिल गुड़ाक कर सिलिंग करा होता है ये स्वस्तिक सिल देख स्वस्तिक अच्छी जो बेसिस रे रईट हिस्टोरीयन राजा राम हरिका कौन ऋग्वेदर ऋग्वेदर वर्डस को कोट करोट कर हरप्पान लोक मैंने भी पंच स्वस्तिक त्रिस्वस्तिक करुले तेणु हरप्पान लोक भी वैदिक लोक थे हाँ तेणु ये है टिपिकल पट्री तुम देखु जार हरिका अच्छी रेड स्लीप दिहि रेड स्लीप रे ब्लाक रे बढ़िया बढ़िया पेंटिंग कराई कौ पेटिंग देख जान यरप्पार तेणु सैज कु देख डिशन स्टाड जार परफोरेटेड जार आउ तुम देखु रेड स्लीप बढ़िया ग्लसी रेड स्लीप दिहि स्लीप ब्लाक पेटिंग कराई 
कॉपर राउ ब्रोंज रा प्लेट ओडा इंडिया प्लेट ओडा में बहुत तेनु कॉपर ब्रोंज जान थिले सोना जानी थिले रूपा जानी थिले खाली गोटिए जिनिस जानी न थिले सेला आया सब आयरन न हम पखरे एविडेंस मिलुन सेई लागि ए सिविलाइजेशन को चालकोलिथिक सिविलाइजेशन कोंती ब्रोंज ए सिविलाइजेशन कोंती चालको माने कॉपर लिथिक माने स्टोन स्टोन न टूल गोडा यूज बेसी करा होतला कॉपर र टूल गोडा यूज होतला कॉपर मटेरियल तयारी करा होतला हां जेमदी मु कॉपर र सोड देखेली सनोली र लेट हर पान हैला तेनु एठी केवल आयरन न मिलु न थला आयरन हम त जान छ आयरन बेसी स्टडी आयरन रे करी हो बेसी काम लुहा नंगळ सोड एगुडा बेसी भलो करी हो से माने जानी न थिले तेनु किंतु वैदिक लोक माने आयरन बेसी यूज करले ई एटा ओटे देखो एटा में फेमस सील गोटे यूनिफॉर्म सील यूनिकॉर्न यूनिकॉर्न माने ओटे मिथिकल एनिमल तार देखो केम देई छ हां तें ई ओटे सील सील तयार करिया ई जो सील गोडा लार्जली स्टेटाइड स्टेटाइड माने पाउडर जो नो आमे टाल्क पाउडर जो देहरे लगो छु गरम दिने सेई थे टाल्क पाउडर रे स्टेटाइड मटेरियल करा होतला ताकू सील करा है कि आदरे एंते स्टाम्प एंतिया मु देखेली तमु ता मोल्ड एंतिया सील करा होतला से सील गोडा रो छाप होडा को विभिन्न जगह रे विभिन्न ये रे मारी कि ताकू पठोतले विभिन्न देशो को तादरे लेखा है जी से लेखा गोडा को हमें पढ़ी परनु ए लेखा गोडा को बोस्टर फेंडन बोली कुआ जा एटा ओटे पिक्टोग्राफिक स्क्रिप्ट पिक्चर आउ साइन रो दीटा रो मिश्रण रे स्क्रिप्ट आई जी एटा लेफ्ट टू राइट आउ राइट टू लेफ्ट एंती लेखा हो तो आमे जे देखिबा ए स्क्रिप्ट रे नो बहुत ओडारु जणा पडू छी एटा बोस्ट्रो फेंडन फर्स्ट लाइन लेफ्ट टू राइट लेखा होतला सेकंड लाइन राइट टू लेफ्ट लेखा होतला काहे कि आमे कहू छु जेते बेले आमे लेखु आरंभ करि थिउ बडो करि कि सारी बु छोटो करि कि तेनु आमे बहुत ओडा सील सब राइटिंग रे देखु छु जो राइटिंग लेखा है छि हरपान बालांगर से स्क्रिप्ट आरंभ हो छि बडो रे सरु छि फर्स्ट लाइन ता छोटो रे पुनी नेक्स्ट लाइन ता बॉर्डर रे डाहन पर दुआरम बोची सरुची लेफ्ट रे सरुची लेफ्ट रे छोटो रे तेरु ताकु बोस्ट्रो फेंडन बोली कुआ जा ये सबूतों जेबु भी बुल्ला सील मुकाय दिली फेमस सबूतों माने हॉम्ड बुल्ला ता पर ये बे भी तमें जो दी बेलुचिस्तान एरिया को दिवो सही बुल पायो ये वोटे कौन से सिंबल ल माने आमे जानिनु आमे जानि छु एटा पिक्टोग्राफिक साइन स्क्रिप्ट बोली हरपान सील्स थाने पूजा करथुले विभिन्न दिन सोडा एउटा सब मु देखौ छी सील्स टैबलेट तळे जो ऊपर सील सोडा तळे टैबलेट सोडा देखो कोनिकल टैबलेट्स भी मिलु छी ओधा सर्कल टैबलेट्स भी मिलु छी तादर लिखाइ छी एगुडा लिखि कि जो जिनिस पठौथिले बहुत दूर को ताकि बांधि कि पठै दोथिले नले ए सील रो इंप्रेशन गोटे पोट्री ऊपर एकि जिनसो ऊपर जेम दे हमें जो मुदरे सील दे दउ जो सेंदि पोट्री ऊपर ए सील रो इंप्रेशन दे कि जिनसो को बांधि दउथिले पठौथिले तेनो ए सील राइटिंग रो मेजर यूज हला तमे कम राजा कम्युनिकेट करिया को चाहू छी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर कम्युनिकेट करिया को चाहू छी ट्रेडर माने बैंकर माने कम्युनिकेट करिया को चाहू छी तेनो ए सील गोडा यूज करा होतला एउडा सब सील महेंद्रदार र सील एउडा सब मिथिकल एनिमल्स एनिमल्स पान को पूजा करा होतला ये पशुपति सील्स आमे देखु तो आउरी मु देखैमी एउडा सब ट्री वुड सी प्रो आमे देखु तो ट्री ऊपर रे ओडे ट्री रो गछ अछि गोटे गछ अछि गछ रे ओडे ठाकुरानी अछि अंदी तार दीटा हॉर्न अछि एठी हमर नवगुंजर जेंदी जगन्नाथ कर नवगुंजर रूप सेंदी ओडे मिथिकल एनिमल अछि तळे सब डिवोटीज माने अछंती तेनु आमर विभिन्न जिनिस रिलीजन एटा देखो नवगुंजर बळिया गोटे स्क्वायर सील जतरे मल्टीपल हेड अछि एनिमल्स एक दुई तीन चार पांच टा जेंती आमर नवगुंजर र जगन्नाथ मंदिर नवगुंजर ऊपर सेंती देखु छ हम 
आउरी मु सील छडा एगुडा देखो टोकन न टेबलेट छडा टेराकोटा रो रिलीजियन त इन उर्सी प मदर गडेस पर मु देखो डान पटे फटो देखो टेराकोटा रो केमदी मु विभिन्न तेनु पशुपति सील तापरे एनिमल मान को ट्री उर्सी एगुडा सब आउ डिस्पोजल ऑफ डेड सन फायर वाटर तेनु साक्रेड हमर बात अछि फायर रोडसिप कालीबंगन ने अछि जोगो हला पशुपति सिल मदर गडेस रमु देखेली तमकु आ सब एनिमल मिथिकल एनिमल सन गर फोटो देखेली मु एई उडा सब पूजा करूथिले बरियाल लोग डेड डेड मानकु जो कुत्ता होतला लार्जली किंतु किछि किछि जगह रे आमे देखु जो आगे पोस्ट क्रिमेशन बरियाल हेच माने आगे आमे जेमती एबे करू जो आमरो बापा मां को पोडी दउ छु ता परे ताकर हाडो आनी कि गुटे जाय रे पोती दउ छु सेमती भी आमे बरियाल देखु छु आमे लोथाले डबल बरियाल देखु छु एक्सटेंडेड बरियाल अछि आमरो आमरो पोस्ट क्रिमेशन बरियाल अछि एन विभिन्न प्रकार रो बरियाल आमे देखु छु तेनु रिलीजियन ने मदर गडेस अछि एनिमल प्लांट्स अछि स्टोन अदर ऑब्जेक्ट्स वडा यूज करथले फूल को यूज करथले लिंग मिलु छि हम को सुस्ती को मिलु छि हम को फायर वाटर मिलु छि कालीबंगन ने वाटर कथा मु रिचुअल वाटर स्पेस कथा कहिली तम को महेंजदार रो डिस्पोजल ऑफ गॉड डेड रे आमे एक्सटेंडेड बरियाल डबल बरियाल पोस्ट क्रिमेशन बरियाल विभिन्न प्रकार बरियाल आमे देखु छु बरियाल माने मल्ला परे पुतिया एगुडा सब सील सोडा एलिफेंट आमे देखु छु यूनिकॉर्न देखु छु जेबु बुल देखु छु टाइगर देखु छु पीपल ट्री देखु छु ट्री रे हॉर्न अछि देखु छु मदर गडेस देखु छु ट्री और ट्री टा मदर गडेस बिडा ट्री रो भितरे मदर गडेस अछि तार देखैली त हम सेगुडा देखु कि एगुडा सब पूजा कर हां एबे मु तुम को देखौ जी एई त देखो ये सरस्वती रिवर ए सरस्वती रिवर एटा सैटेलाइट इमेज इमेज टा ए सेटा जाई कि पड़ी थिला तळ लेवल ले इंडस पाके रे इंडस नदी रे ताकू प्लेट टेक्टोनिक गई गंगा नदी नै होला 1820 एटा इसरो सैटेलाइट रो डाटा रो आमे नै छु आ उदेनो 1820 बेळ कु तमे देखो गंगा जमुना रे केते साइट ऊपर अछि अपर गैमजेटी बारागांव भटेरा मु कहिली उल्लास एउटा सब मेजर साइट सोडा हमें देखिया विभिन्न कारण पई हमर डिक्लाइन करी गला डिक्लाइन परे कोन कोन साइट सोडा आसिला एटा उल्लास रो खाली टिके देखै दे कि जाउ छी उल्लास रो एटा उल्लास पोट्री एगुडा पेंटेड पोट्री उल्लास रो हमें देखू से हरपन दिन सोडा मोटिव सोडा अकर करू छी एटा उल्लास रो मिनिएचर रो एटा सनोली रो देखो लेक हरपन टेराकोटा तेनु अठरस परे उल्लास कल्चर जेतो डेवलप कला ले तरफन फीचर ओडा जेमे सील सोडा आमे देखु छु स्टील किंतु आस्ते आस्ते ए फीचर जो टिपिकल हरपन फीचर सील्स राइटिंग अर्बन फीचर रे कोनोसी गोटे घर देखिबनी मेन स्ट्रीट आमो कटक भुवनेश्वर संबलपुर बळिया नो जे समस्त रास्ता उपर को माडी बसी की घर को नंबे देथि गोटिए घर नंबर रास्ता उपर को एनक्रोच करे मेन स्ट्रीट को गोटिए घर एनक्रोच करे नि हरपा मंजदा एत्ते सिविक प्लानिंग थिला एत्ते यूनिफॉर्मिटी थिला केमिति हेई पारु दैट ब्रिंग्स अप द इशू ऑफ इशू ऑफ ट्रेड issue of uniformity issue of supply all these raise issues of the political structure of harappa political strength trade of harappa katha trade of harappa trade katha mu tike kahibi au political structure katha kahi ki lake harappa ko pale asibi hum khali tike lake harappa na dekhe de kon kon milu chit green site de ei ta sab jo uda mu upper gangetic doa beria ra ko chi baranagar hullas एउटा आलमगिरपुर एउटा सब देखो हरपा एडी देखो हरपा लोएस्ट लेबले तापरे पेंटेड ग्रेवर पळे आछ किंतु बहुत डिफरेंस समय रो जति देखिबा आमे डिफरेंस बहुत डिफरेंस आछ आ वी डिस्कस अबाउट दिस हां ये आलमगिरपुर रो पटरी किछि सिमिलरिटीज अछि किंतु किछि अलग एडा देखो किछि पटरी रो मोटिव सडा हरपन पटरी आछ किंतु किछि अलग आछ तनो एगुडा सब एमपी मु रंगपुर र जिबे मोर आउ समय नै मु एबे तीन टाइ एडा दौलतपुर र लेटर अपा 
तापरे सबसिक्वेंटली अलग जिन पेंटे ग्रे दौलतपुर भगवान पूरा हरियाणा रे सरस्वत नदी रे ये कूल हरप्पा तापरे पिजिटम तेणु ये रूप रे युड़ा हरप्पा तापरे वाई डी शर्मा खुली पिजिटम हाँ तेणु युवा विभिन्न सैड रुगुड़ा सब सब गुड़ा देख पार यहाँ सांगोल पटपलान रंगपुर गुजरात रिये देखि दि जो भी रंगपुर लसरस रेड वेयर पोस्ट हरपान पीरियड अठरश बीस बेले साउथ गुजरात रंगपुर आम देख लो रंगपुर पटरी लसचरस रेड वेयर हरिका हाँ जो हरपा लेट हरपा सहित मर्ज करुचर पटरी बाहर तेणु आम यहाँ दईमाबाद रे देखु दईमाबाद भी हरपान सैड कि पोस्ट हरपान पीरियड चारिअड घोड़ा दईमाबाद रिथ कलचर आम देखु चारिअड घोड़ा हाथी बुल युड़ा सब तेणु एवं रईस रहा कहली रंगपुर मिली रईस हस तेणु बहुत जन ताक ग्राफ कर ना ना आम भी रईस थी तेणु एम भी बेदी तेणु एवं आसवा टी ट्रेड रहा कहीं आम मैडम जन थे आम को बहुत ट्रेड पढ़ाते सी हेल्ले सेरीन रत्नागर बोली फेमस लोक जड़े वेस्टर्नली ट्रेड हरप्पान लिखें से कौन मेजर आर्गुमेंट जे हरप्पान सिविलाइजेशन ता प्रस्पर कला कहीं ना ट्रेड सेंट्रिक थिला ट्रेड रे स्पेशलाइज गुड्स रे एते स्पेशलाइज करके से गुडा चारियाडे से माने बिकुथले ट्रेड करके ता सहित तर्कमेनिस्तान सहित सोटु भाई बोली ओटा अफगानिस्तान सहित छ पर्सियन गल्फ रे फॉयल का बोली ओटे सहित छ मेसोपोटामिया रो बहुत सहित छ आमे जो थी मेसोपोटामे लोथाले फॉर एग्जांपल हम को पर्सियन गल्फ सिल में तेपे एल तीन गरीका बहुत बड़ा तो तुर्कमेनिस्तान रो साइड ईरान बॉर्डर रे हमरो हरप्पा नालांग रे एविडेंस मिल छ मेसोपोटामिया रो मिल छ मेसोपोटामिया लिटरेचर मेलुहो बोली ओटे साइड दिलमुन बोली ओटे साइड बोली कोउ छ सब बले हां हरियो प्रियो सॉरी हरियो प्रियो कोउ छ मेलुहो आओ दिलमुन बोली को मेलुओ को आईडेटिफाई करा इंडस वैली सैट सोटा सहित तेणु आम वेस्टर्नली ट्रेड रे तुम तो जी मु देख पार्लिनी मैटेरियल लापिस लाजुली बैदुर्ज जाक आम कह बैदुर्ज रेसलाइजेसन ने हरप्पा न ब्लू ब्लू कलर रहा बैदुर्ज रढ़िया स्पेशलाइजेसन कर सुना रूपा बैदुर्ज कार्नेलिया साफा बहुत गुड़ा आम स्पेशलाइजेशन कर चन्नुदार बोली गोटे सैड अच्छे खम्बायत बोली गोटे सैड जो थे बीड रोत मिलूच केनोएर पढ़ले मुझे आज सब पढ़े पार नहीं हाँ केनोएर पढ़ले तुम देख कौ डिग्री रेसलाइजेसन से सब जिन आने कौ फर एक्जामपल लापिस लाजुली इंडिया मिले ना आम बहुत स्पेशलाइज जमी कलाहां जेमस्टोन नहीं कि कटा होटी सुराट रे कटा होमतीिया कथ आम हरप्पा लोक मैंने लापिस लाजुली कप सरी ब्रोज एगुड़ा सब ब्रोज कौच कौन तो सिल्वर इंडिया सिल्वर ना इंडिया लापिस लाजुली ना सेट्राल एसिया आसला लापिस लाजुली इरान रु आसला सिल्वर कि हरप्पान लोक मैंने बहुत तादरे स्पेशलाइज स्पेशलाइजेशन स्पेशालाइजेसन सुराट लोक स्पेशलाइजेशन कर डायमंड कटिंग में तेणु ये कौन आर्गुमेंट करीन रत्नागर वेस्टर्नली ट्रेड रे आर्गुमेंट कर सिविलाइजेशन रो मेन स्टे दि मेन स्टे अफ हरप्पान सिविलाइजेशन वाज हाई डिग्री अफ क्राफ्ट स्पेशलाइजेशन एंड ट्रेड अर्गानाइज ट्रेड बै हिच इट एक्सपोर्टेड दिज मेटेरियल टू कंट्रीज ऑफ मेसोपोटामिया कंट्रीज ऑफ रिजियंस ऑफ पर्सियन गल्फ एंड हाड ट्रेडिंग रिलेशन विथ सेंट्रल एशिया इरान मेसोपोटामिया एंड पर्सियन गल्फ सम हाउ दिस कंटैक्ट वाज डिसरप्टेड दिस ट्रेड वाज डिसरप्टेड फॉर रीजन फॉर व्हिच हरप्पा सिविलाइजेशन डिक्लाइन Another view regarding the decline of Harappan civilization was regarding the so-called Aryan invasion. 
Mortimer Uller was the first archaeologist to give this view that Harappan cities were destroyed by the invading Aryan people. And his famous quotation is that Indra stands accused for the destructions of Harappan cities. Indra Ele, Aryo Manankara, Vedic people Manankara, Men Thakura, Indra Tanga chariot re Vasigi Jem, the Asura Manangu, Nastagurutle, Asura Manankara, Tanakanathila Purandhara, Indra Gana Purandra, Rig Bedra Lekai Jem, the Purandara, Puraku, Mane, Fort could destroy Kuruchandi, Semiti, Aryan Mala, Horopan Manankara, fortified Puraku, fortified town could destroy Kuruchandi, Indra stands accused. How can evidence the Kele? Evidence the Kele, the Mohenjo Daraju skeleton Mirichi, Tadere, um, Churi Markoch, Churi Gusai, the Mundara Upore. Then, who age you Mundara Upore? Skull lay you Churi Markoch, is a call eight I evidence, Jothere, iron dagger, iron dagger, Aryan Mane, iron use Kurutile, Rig Vedic people Mane, Aryan. They were using iron as the major raw material for making sword. Here is an archaeological evidence whereby the Aryan Maru marauders are invading Aryans came from Central Asia, put their dagger on the head of the Harap Mohenjodara people, and that piercing dagger mark were found in 12 skeletons which are buried in Mohenjodaro and therefore proclaiming. Um, Bluntly and boldly, that Indra stands accused for the destructions of Hari Harappan civilization. And Rig Veda, there is a reference to Hariyopriya, which is considered to be Harappa. And therefore, he says that here is the evidence of Rig Vedic people coming and destroying Harappan city. Forgetting the fact that Harappa Mahanjadara declined 1800 BC and the first migration of Indo-European people whom we call our Aryan came only in 1500 BC. And moreover, Lucas study, Lucas is a famous paleopathologist and Lucas, sorry, uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas, um, uh, Kennedy most likely, Kennedy made a, or Lucas made a study of this skeleton and he came to conclusion that the wound by the dagger, uh, by the invasion of the dagger, uh, the wound actually was healed by the time these people died. Jo Barada skeleton ne dagger mark thila, se dagger mark bhori jai thila. Bhori jai thila mane aapte aapte healing hai jai thila. Molla bedu ko jodi jodi healing hai jai chhi, mari dagger mark mane dagger mane jo chhota khanda ko mane dagger ko. छोटो खंडा रो जो गु भुसी दे लाडू ता मुंडो रे पसीला बोली मरिथले जदी ता मुंडो टा केंदी पुरी जाई छि पुरी जाई छि माने हीलिंग हे जाई छि तेनु केनेडी गरी का कहले नाही नाही एडा ताकु निश्चित अटैक हेतिला ए लोक किंतु अटैक जो गु मरिनांती अटैक रो बहुत वर्ष परे जतेले भलो हे गेला ता मुंडो टा माडो टा जो ता परे मरिचन तेनु इट वाज नॉट ड्यू टू इन्वेजन दैट दिस 12 पीपल डाइड आउट ऑफ Injury mark. They died for other reasons. Therefore, not only there are differences of at least 300 years of difference between the fast in migration of the Aryans in around 1500 BC and the decline of the Harappan civilization, but there is also archaeological counter fact to disprove Mortimer Wheeler's argument about dagger mark the coming of the Aryan people as invaders and the killing of the Harappan people and the injury mark on the skull of the Mahanjodara people. There are many other hypotheses regarding decline. Rikers, a famous hydro hydrologist, gave a theory called Great Flood Hypothesis. He found archaeological evidence of a flood shield on almost six, seven meters above <coughs> in Mohenjodar. Mohenjodar are se dekhile flood of Portumati. The Bors Bonnia Juju Portumati, Bohu Tupare, Satometer, Atometer, Upare, Bonnia of Portumati, Amuku Mohenjodar excavation no meduch. 
ସେ କହିଲେ ଏତେ ଉପରକୁ କେମିତି ବନ୍ୟାର ପଟୁ ମାଟୁ ପଳେଇଲା ଇଏ ଅର୍ଡିନାରୀ ଫ୍ଲଡ୍ରେ ତ ଏତେ ଉପରକୁ ରିଭର ପାଣି ଯିବନି ସାତ ମିଟର ଉପରକୁ ଏ ପାଣି କେମିତି ଆସିଲା ଏତେ ଉପରେ ପଟୁ ମାଟି ପାଣି ତେଣୁ ଦିସ୍ ୱାଜ ନଟ ଦି ରେଜଲ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଆନ୍ ଅର୍ଡିନାରୀ ଫ୍ଲଡିଂ ଆନୁଆଲ ଇନଣ୍ଡେସନ ହୁଇଚ ହାପେନ୍ସ ରେଗୁଲାରଲି ଅନ୍ ଇଣ୍ଡସ ରିଭର ଦାଟ ୱାଜ ନିଅରଲି ୱାନ ମିଟର ବି ହଉନି ହାଉ କୁଡ ଦି ଫ୍ଲଡ ସିଲ୍ଡ ରିଚ ଲେବୁଲ ଅଫ ଫାଇଭ ମିଟର ଇଟ ୱାଜ ମୋଷ୍ଟ ଲାଇକଲି ଆଜ ଏ ରେଜଲ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଏ ଗ୍ରେଟ ଫ୍ଲଡ therefore rikers gave the thesis hypothesis of great flood hypothesis whereby he says that because of a tectonic activities along the lower indus river what a earthquake hela ha uh, ground ta uplift he gala indus river uh, discharge hi parla ni water what a lake he gala sei lake ro ri pani goda upar upar ko mohanjodar ro upar upar ko he gi 5 meter 7 meter upar ko palela sei lagi ଅଟୁ ମାଟିର ଆମେ ଏଭିଡେନ୍ସ ଦେଖୁଛୁ କିନ୍ତୁ ଗ୍ରେଟ ଫ୍ଲଡ ହାଇପୋଥେସିସ ଯଦି ହେଇଥିଲା ତାକୁ କଣ୍ଟେଷ୍ଟ କରାହଉଛି କାହିଁକି ନା ଅଠରଶହ କେତେ ମସିହାରେ ଗୋଟେ କାଳୀ ନଦୀ ବୋଲି ଗୋଟେ ନଦୀ ଛୋଟିଆ ନଦୀ ଇଣ୍ଡସ ର ଟ୍ରିବ୍ୟୁଟାରି ଥିଲା ସେଠି ସେମିତି ଆର୍ଥକୁ ଏକ ହେଇକି ତାର ରିଭର ବେଡ ଟା ଉଠିଗଲା କିନ୍ତୁ ଦି ବର୍ଷ କି ତିନି ବର୍ଷ ସେ ବ୍ରିଜ କରିକି ପୁଣି ଥରେ ଆରବିଆନ ସି କୁ ଚାଲିଲା ତା ପାଇଁ ତେଣୁ ଇଣ୍ଡସ ର ଏତେ ପାଣି ଆସୁଥିଲା କେତେ ପାଞ୍ଚଟା ଯାକ ନଦୀ ପଡିଛନ୍ତି ଝେଲମ ବଗେରା ବଗେରା ଯେତିକି ନଦୀ ସତଲେଜ ଯାକ ସେମାନଙ୍କ ପାଣି ରଖିପାରିବ ଗୋଟେ ଆର୍ଥକୁ ଏକ ହେଲେ ତେଣୁ ଗ୍ରେଟ ହାଇପୋଥେସିସ ଫ୍ଲଡ ହାଇପୋଥେସିସ କୁ ହାଜ ବିନ ରିଜେକ୍ଟେଡ ଦେର ଆର ମେନି ଅଦର ଥିଓରିଜ ଅର ହାଇପୋଥେସିସ ୱିଚ ହାଭ ବିନ ଗିଭନ ୱି ହାଭ ଡିସପ୍ୟୁଟେଡ ଆରିଆନ ହାଇପୋଥେସିସ ଆଜ ଏ ବୋଗସ ଥିଓରି ଦେର ଇଜ ନୋ ଆରିଆନ ଇନଭେଜନ ଦି ମାଇଗ୍ରେସନ ଆଲସୋ ଟୁକ ପ୍ଲେସ 300 ଇୟର୍ସ ଆଫଟର ଦ୍ୟାଟ Gandhara grape culture people are different from the Aryan culture people la. therefore we don't accept that. also PG it's very difficult to identify PGW people with the people who came uh, after the Harappan culture and many historians who believe that PGW people were actually late um, Rig Vedic people or late Vedic people I have reservations but I cannot deep, go deep into it um, then there are other theories uh, but the most important theory and recently many of the geologists and environmentalists have come together to discuss about the possible causes of the decline of harappan civilizations uh, and most important theories or hypothesis which is accepted as the cause of the decline is the ecological imbalance theory that during 1800 bc as i show you evidence uh, Ghogar Hakra became dried up and there are many geologists, uh, Gurbak Singhs and other like D.P. Agarwal, Gurbak Singh, they say that 1800 BC there was a major warm phase continuing up to at least 200 years. 1800 BC ru gote aarthre warm phase asila especially ehi area re bhoot bado warm phase asila bhoot garam hela. ଗରମ ହେଇକି ଏନଭାରନମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଇମ୍ବାଲାନ୍ସ ହେଇଛି ପ୍ଲେଟ ଟେକ୍ଟୋନିକ ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟି ହେଇଛି ଇକୋଲୋଜିକାଲ ଇମ୍ବାଲାନ୍ସ ହେଇଛି ଏନଭାରନମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଫ୍ୟାକ୍ଟର ଆଉ ମଣିଷ ଯେଉଁ ମଣିଷର ଯେଉଁ ଇକୋଲୋଜିକାଲ ବାଲାନ୍ସ ଥିଲା ଭିଲେଜ ସପ୍ଲାଏ କରୁଥିଲା ଅରବାନ ଏରିଆକୁ କ୍ରାଫ୍ଟ ସ୍ପେଶାଲିଷ୍ଟ ମାନଙ୍କୁ ଟାଉନକୁ ସେ କୌଣସି କାରଣରୁ ଏଇ ଏନଭାରନମେଣ୍ଟାଲ ଫ୍ୟାକ୍ଟର ଯୋଗୁଁ ଇମ୍ବାଲାନ୍ସ ହେଇକି ହରପାନ ସିଟି ଯେଉଁଟା ଡିକ୍ଲାଇନ କରିବ ଆଉ ମୁଁ କହିଲି ୱେଷ୍ଟର୍ଲି ଟ୍ରେଡ କଥା କହୁଛନ୍ତି ଆମର ମ୍ୟାଡାମ ସେରିନ ରତ୍ନାକର କିନ୍ତୁ ଆମେ ତାକୁ ଆକ୍ସେପ୍ଟ କରୁନୁ ଇଏ ସବୁ ବିଭିନ୍ନ କାରଣ ଡିକ୍ଲାଇନ କରିବାର ମୁଁ ଏତିକି ଖାଲି କହୁଛି ତମମାନଙ୍କୁ ଯେ ଅଲଗା ଚାଲକୋଲିତି କଲଚର ସହିତ ମୋର ଆଉ ସମୟ ନାହିଁ ଆଜି ଡିସ୍କସ୍ କରିବାକୁ କିନ୍ତୁ ରଙ୍ଗପୁରରେ ଦୈମାବାଦରେ ଯେଉଁଟା ଆମେ କାଦ କଲଚର ଇନାମ ଗାଉଁରିକାରେ ଦେଖୁଛୁ ଦୈମାବାଦରେ ଦେଖୁଛୁ ହଁ ବିଭିନ୍ନ ଜାଗାରେ ଦୁଇ ହଜାର ବିଶ ପରଠୁ ଆଗରୁ ତିନି ହଜାର ବିଶରେ ବି ବହୁତ ଚାଲକୋଲିତି କଲଚର ଇଣ୍ଡିଆରେ ଥିଲା ହରପ୍ପାର ଡିକ୍ଲାଇନ ସହିତ ଇ ହରପ୍ପା ଯେତେବେଳେ ପ୍ରୋଗ୍ରେସ କରୁଥିଲା ପଚିଶରୁ ଅଠରଶହ ଭିତରେ ବି ବିଭିନ୍ନ ଜାଗାରେ ବିଭିନ୍ନ ଚାଲକୋଲିତି କଲଚର ଯଥା ଅହର କଲଚର ବାଣ କଲଚର ମାଲୁଆ କଲଚର କାଓଥ କଲଚର କାୟଥ କଲଚର ଏଗୁଡା ସବୁ ଚାଲକୁଲ ଆମର ଓଡିଶାରେ ସାକିର ଏଇଠି ଯଦି ଥିବ ଶୁଣୁଥିବ ସାକିର ବି ବହୁତ ଖୋଳୁଛି 
आमर वेस्टर्न ओडिसा रे प्रदीप बेहरा साकित करूचन काम आमे भी ईस्टर्न ओडिसा रे चालकुलिति कल्चर ऊपर खोलुचो विभिन्न समय रे 3620 Judah, Horopa civilization aside, each alcoholic culture, Jemit Doimabat, Jemiti Rongapura, Jemiti Bhagwan Pura, Jemiti Rupur, Emanankoro, Olga culture soito, even a so Horopan site. Tasoito, Olga alcoholic culture, the Olga culture, Judah Asila, Jemiti Ame, Copper Hood culture, OCW culture, Puju, Gandara Grave culture, Puju. PGW जो Iron Age culture को जो तांसे तो कौन interaction थिला ताकु आउरी in depth study आमे करिवा दरका तमरे बे जदी question अच्छी मते पच्चारा मु कोई भी आउ गोज जिन सब करी पहली नी तमरा जमेदी जमेदी तमरा mathematics से multi hexadecimal से सोड़ और multiple use करा हुआ था तंकरा है ना एक उड़ा सो ये बे तमरे जदी question किच्छ अच्छी मते पच्चारा <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, here, uh, one question from uh, Jay Shankar Pradhan. He is asking that uh, is there any direct impact seen of Harappan civilization in our day to day life? No, no. Can you establish direct causality in life? <laughs> Buddha calls, I don't know. Buddha says that there is no direct causality. Yes, we have. We have Pasupati. Shiva is considered still as Pasupati. We still worship Lingam today. We still consider trees as sacred. Trees are the habitations of Mother Goddess. But if you tell me to establish direct causal relationship between X and Y, uh, independent and dependent variable, this is very difficult, you know, this is, it could be one strand, but it's very difficult to establish a direct spatial and temporal relationship between the two. Am I making clear? There is obviously, there are many strands which have similarities. I, as I told, we still have ritual associated with fire. We have still rituals associated with sacred Bathing, we have still Pasupati worship, we have still tree worship, we have still who believe that tree like people and other tree which are the um, habitats of mother goddess, uh, we have still lingam which are being worshipped. All these strands we have still swastika which are also pre Harappan, before Harappa also in Mesolithic art we find swastika. So there are many strands which continue to be practiced. But if you tell me to establish a causal link between X and Y, we have a spatial as well as a temporal you know, gap. And it's very difficult to establish a causal relation. It's all correlational relation. We see this, we see this. But we cannot see that, we cannot say that it is because of X that Y is still there. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your answer is very clear to us. So, next question is from Sumanta Raut. He is asking the land pattern in the Harappan site was saline, not fit for agriculture. Then, why an agricultural economy civilization settled at that geographical area? Who, who told you? Mane, this is, you know, this is a huge area. I started with a map which shows that it is from Makran coast to Alamgirpur. Alamgirpur is in, you know, Gangetic Doha area, Upper Gange, one of the most fertile area. Indus plain area is not saline. Who told? Makran coast is saline. You know, Sud Sudka Vindar, which is an outlier area, which is saline. But large tract is, you know, therefore they are calling it Sindhu Saraswati. This is the bed. And if you read Spate and Learman, personality of India by Rao, SRO, you will see that this area is the area of attraction till today. This Indo-Gangetic Doab area, Sindhu, 
Saraswati or Nomna area is the lifeline of India. Most prosperous, attractive bay till today for human population settlements and the most fertile area. Today, Punjab is providing the granary to India and he is calling that this is not fertile, this is not suitable for cultivation. No, this is not true. Okay, sir. I think that Nasumanta Raut uh, clear his doubt. The his question is saline, but actually it has not saline. It was a fertile area. So, sir, next question from Bigneshwar Raut. He is asking, explain the elements of urban civilization in the herb in the Harappan culture. What I factors you, were responsible for its decline? I told you ten characteristics uh, which are given by. Um, Modern child, uh, 10 criteria, 10 features. Uh, uh, one is density of population and size of population in a particular space. Second is writing. Third is um, craft specialization. Fourth is state. Fifth is taxation. Sixth is monumental architecture. Um, seventh is, you know, I told you 10 characteristics. So if a culture has majority of these characteristics then it will be called a urban civilization a great number of people living in a space characterized by these 10 features will be called an urban civilization but two most important thing obviously is craft specialization trade <coughs> density of population <coughs> total population size you know, state activity, look at the way state could happen. How could you, you know, develop such degree of uniformity even in Greek sites? Lokomanakara, ette rule bound thile je, tangara cultural norms ette strong thila, je semane 1, 2, 4 kori du thile. Ologalga, uh, brick, um, ologalga, by any size, thickness, width, or length. Then uniformity cultural norm is it. Who state is it? Who is it? Civic administration is very strong. How good a cultural norm is it? Who 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 is it? Such high degree of uniformity was not possible. Unless there are the strong cultural norms of the people, it was not because of administration alone. It was not a strong centralized civic administration which resulted in such uniformity. It was a result of high degree of cultural norms that was achieved, that was um, available to the people who followed that. But nevertheless, you know, such a huge area approximately 6 lakh square kilometer area with high degree of uniformity in brick size, in weight, measurement, town planning could not have been possible unless there are some coordinating agency could have ensured the supply line. We have one other part. It must have been as a result of strong civic administration. It might be multi-centric or it might be centralized. Huh. So it could be multi-nodal uh, rather than one node deciding everything. So therefore, we cannot specifically tell about the political structure that entailed a high degree of coordinations and um, continuities, high degree of uniformity. But nevertheless, one can safely surmise that the cultural norms of the Harappan people were, were so advanced followed to such a great extent by people that such a high degree of civility and planning could be possible and maintained for at least 600 years or 700 years in Harappan cities. Yes, sir. Another question is, which metal was first known to man? Which metal? Copper? Yes. Yes, sir. So, next question from Manavanchan Pandya. Why extended burial was textile? Hmm? Why? Why? Why extended burial was practiced? Why extended burial was practiced? Yes, sir. 
extended burials means uh, you put you know they want to give a space to the buried people uh, uh, like um, we people who uh, who tie the kind of knees amazing the kind of who we always put the people in squatting position tying the knees they want to give space to the uh, dead people so that you know they keep the body in the pit in an extended position sir, so that he even he or she in even in our death remains comfortable in that space <laughs> okay sir so next question from vigneshwar raut he is asking in the absence of a written script charcolithic pottery gives us a fascinating insight into the culture and lifestyles of the people of those times explain no 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 uh, don't say that it is limited to pottery uh, don't reduce archaeology to pottery alone uh, pottery is alphabet of archaeology but you know this is why we critic amalendu goes when he talks of uh, sothi culture because he uses only similarities in pottery to draw about similarities uh, among various sites of sothi culture uh, there are a host of evidence and um, he says there is no to who there were people are still unable to read harappan script in the script there was a language obviously it has not been deciphered to say that there was an absence of script in harappa is not right we are, our ignorance is that we cannot read it okay but beyond that point also beyond the point of language and writing there are host other evidence um host other and with the coming of it archaeometry there are many ground breaking work on dgjs mortality um, plant remains craft specialization there are many aspects of experimental archaeology being practiced today in order to further on and then we have come up dna studies in recent years as i told in the recent years if sakir is if sakir is here sakir can also explain that how you know in this research has gone far far beyond um pottery um, analysis sakir is here sakir can chip in along and also participate in the discussion because it is becoming monologic i have been only talking uh. sakir <coughs> no sir he is not here i think he is busy with some other sar could also chip in beta But I cleared it down. You know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Next question from Sir Prasad Sahu. What was the main reason for the decline of Harappan civilization, according to you, sir? As there is many hypotheses, but but what may be right by you? Sir? I am not an expert, but my hunch is. Uh, Uh, it's about environmental factor you know there is a series uh, serious part uh, which needs to be considered um, i but i don't know exactly because there are many archaeological culture which still existed um, uh, but environmental factor is certainly one important factor because evidence clearly suggest tectonic activity evidence clearly suggest great degree of warming From 1800 to 1600 BC, uh, which might have disrupted the ecological balance, which sustained um, the or which made possible the coming of such a matured urban civilization called Harappan civilization. Therefore, I would uh, attribute two factors. One factor is um, the environmental factor, and uh, second is the balance, uh, ecological balance, which uh, obviously. Um, which was not there because of certain environment but i yes sir. yes sir next question from naresh kumar sahu he is asking what were the languages used in manuscripts and inscriptions there is no manuscript um, there are seals um, there are tablets there are tokens uh, and there are two three stone inscriptions which are found from dulavira as well and uh, the language is not known not known but it is certainly um, both sign as well as um, picture it is a pic combination of picture and sign 
and it was written from left to right in the first line and the second line is from right to left uh, it is called bostrofendel uh, but uh, we don't know the language but it is sort it certainly it's a um, pictorial sign language it's a pictorial sign language called bostrofendel yes sir thank you sir thank you for all the detailed answer and uh, it's it was really a very nice uh, explanation given by you and uh, i think as many question if a student will ask the doubt will be clear so can we conclude now so can we conclude now or you want to say more, no, more no, about this topic thank you just so much i hopefully Sorry. i made uh, some meaning to all of uh, you the learners um, uh, hopefully hopefully um, uh, <laughs> they certainly heard me and found it interesting <laughs> that's what i thought to passionately and whatever knowledge i have i try to dr rumagan this just i have an observation namaskar sir namaskar no sir if you, if you allow i'll tell sir uh, somebody somebody asked me what's the correlation between harappan civilization and the present day thing ha ah, sir i think the answer lies in your introduction because a group ah, yeah. of revolutionary historians <laughs> belonging to a particular ideology they are i mean making this harappan civilization as an appendage of vedic civilization yes sir. this re- these historians who want to revise history i am reminded of the history writing under nazi germany under hitler or what pakistani historians some they are, they are doing so any event in the past can be molded by a particular group of historians who not only de- destroy history but also destroy our sensibility our past civilization this is the yes, only sir. observation and dr mishra thank you very much for your inspiring lecture our learners are much benefited and hope you will come again sometime after some days sir and my request to learners is that you also come to a class tomorrow at 11 am am please come and thank you very much dr mishra now sign you conclude namaskar namaskar yes sir yes sir uh, Sir, uh, I just want to say something. I mean, uh, a million of thanks to <laughs> Makan Mishra, sir. It was very interesting uh, session. Very interesting. I wish if uh, all the students uh, from starting from BA or MA student uh, will participate, it will be so benefit for them because there are so many uh, doubt which uh, I uh, cleared from this class. like uh, you said that uh, harappan culture uh, is now is seen, uh, is is now said to be as a saraswati sindhu civilization so my question is uh, like uh, political parties are interfering in uh, historical things so can we uh, include those thing in our writing or can we write only those thing that is already written in our books because the evaluators also accept whatever written in our book he will not accept what uh, what what present uh, researches are going on no no point is this the people don't understand the nature of the discipline the discipline history is a site of political struggle let yes. us have no modicum of doubt history is a site of political contestation it cannot be taken out of politics sir yes sir yes sir very problematic question at the fag end of the lecture and therefore let us not discuss it so now but this cannot be done now. but that doesn't mean that polemics bad history will be written everywhere this is not true ha uh, yes. history will be used by politics history is the site of political contestation but there is the methodology and the craft makes the distinction between good history and bad history very clear and everybody can know what is good history and what is bad history because our craft is well defined our craft is well defined our craft is corroborations of sources how you cannot just pick and cherry pick your sources 
we have to corroborate you know you need a book called historian craft by our block our craft obviously we cannot know the totality of the past uh, this is theoretically not possible but we can always make a distinction between bad history and good history with this i must end here and we'll discuss on some other occasions how we can write better history rather yes, than politically motivated elon history <laughs> Okay. Actually, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Actually, sir, I want to say that uh, when when we are writing uh, history, like uh, our regular exam, so uh, we can include those things that is actual written in our books. But uh, when an uh, civil service, uh, but when we are appearing for civil service examination, that that time uh, we need some uh, recent uh, research, no, recent no, excavation. Civil service, no, no. You are entirely wrong. Now. in civil services you only give the um, view point you write just uh, points uh. civil you are not asked to give your own point uh. civil service writing is just like a good figure gestalt and in, in psychology it is called gestalt and good figure bhalo jiyo jenti dekha jibo sentia tum answer dewa ka e padu chari se padu chari e chatar bhalo kon mondo kon तमे किछि किछि कहइवन क्रिटिकलिटी नै हिस्ट्री डिसिप्लिन नै नेचर हैला क्रिटिकल ऑनगोइंग डायनामिक हां ए गुडा खाली कंटेस्टेशन नैरेटिव रो सोर्स को नै कि सेटा लेखिले सिविल सर्विस रो बन एकेडमिक राइटिंग रे सेटा हुए जेते बेले टर्म पेपर लेखो डिसर्टेशन लेखो ए डिबेट ओडा को नै कि आसे सो हां तेनु एबे जो माने लेखु चंदी एटा हिस्ट्री जेहेतु पॉलिटिकल गोटे साइट पॉलिटिकल बारंबार Uh, PPT and uh, explaining everything so nice, and uh, if we discuss this uh, Harappan culture, this I think uh, this one and half hour is also not sufficient because so there are huge questions out there and there are so many doubts. No mm -hmm. doubts will come, and uh, that yeah, will take no so much that. time. Yeah, no doubt, but there is no time doesn't permit. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So my request, sir, in future. In future, please give us uh, time for uh, for uh, other topic, and uh, because uh, today we we'll, uh, we we'll, we we'll learn so many new thing like uh, Saraswati Hindu civilization. You also explain what is the uh, difference between civilization, urbanism, and uh, culture. Then uh, the Harappan culture, the its uh, decline, and uh, also the new things uh, that uh, I. Got to know that uh, Harappan culture uh, is is the Harappan Harappan culture is is the Vedic uh, Vedic Vedic culture uh, in urbanism. <laughs> that's what they say. That's what they because that is their fundamental. You no, know, otherwise, can the Bharat civilization be there? If the Harappan is pure, then the Veda is pure. Then the Bharat is the collapse. If the Bharat civilization is the matrix, then the theory is wrong. Do you know? this time for and uh, please take another topic kan ko namaskar oh doctor doctor thank you so much thank you pranam dhanyawad pranam bahut bahut dhanyawad bahut bahut dhanyawad apan ko aur suvidha hale kebe asibe apan ko request aur kori ho ni na apan pro bono class ne bhi kahile ni brothers and others please note that there is a, it's of, of course of the record there is certain amount to be given to resource persons as Honorary something, but Doctor Mishra has refused to take one paise. He is so I mean, he is so I mean devoted to his profession 
and everybody should learn from him. He is not after money, but after knowledge. And we are really indebted, and our sense of obligation is there. <laughs> so we'll meet in future once again, Dr. Mishra. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. And we end the session. We end the session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, madam. I'll be disconnect. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you, Rudra. Okay, thank you, ma'am. विदुदत्त मिश्र हेलो हेलो आज्ञा हाँ एक्चुअली एगुड़ा अपडेट मैंने एडिट है कि पर अपडेट हम वेबसाइट रे टाइम लगे शुनी पार तो ठीक अच्छे सर ठीक अच्छे टाइम लगे पर ओके ठीक अच्छे Thank you.